Hello folks, how many times you come across a gear and say wow this is cool. Well folks, this is one of them. The Sputnik from Earl Konekin. Cool eh? So folks, here it is in all its glory. This is the Ultron. It's a mod for 18650 batteries and can be used in three modes. This is its main mode wherein it takes an Ultron again hybridized into its top cap. This is how you see what's in it and how it gets assembled. I'll con again. This part is the cage making the I'll con again flush mounted within the battery tube. Battery. The tube. the switch the unique and special feature of this mod is the switch this is the only mod in the world which has a bottom mounted switch but is not pushed upwards to make it fire this switch slides left or right in any of its directions and will fire. You plonk the mod upside down in unlocked position, nothing happens. There is no chance of accidental firing. All contacts in the switch and the top caps is 24 karat gold plated copper. The switch has certain engravings in the bottom. You have the Ul throne clearly engraved and your serial number and atop there is an arrow which shows how to lock or unlock the switch. Mind you, even in unlocked position, this mod does not fire. But however, for a prolonged duration, you could lock it. The cage. The cage has a top cap embedded inside. That top cap also has a gold plated copper firing pin which is 510. The bottom part of the top cap which sits on top of the battery 
is also gold plated copper. Thus conductivity wise this mod is second to none. Martin from Navy Lifeguard in his review has done the voltage drop test. You may like to have a look there. But I have used nearly many various resistance coils with various IT's. This hits hard. Pretty hard. Now, this is the cage for a full sized Alconegan. It also comes with a smaller size cage. Here. This is used for attaching the Alconegan Nano. How it works? Same way. Thread in the Nano into the cage. Bottom switch cap. Plonk a battery. Attach the cage. And Bob's your uncle. Cool, isn't it? Now for the folks who don't have an Alconican, not to worry. There is also a regular sized 510 top cap available which can be attached to this tube and this can be a regular 8 in 650 22mm mod. Here is the top cap. The OD is 22mm. So any AT of 22mm diameter will sit flush. The bottom of the top cap is same like the cages. Gold plated copper. So, attach the top cap onto the mod, and this is your just another 22 mm mechanical mod, but a cool looking one at that. Take any 22mm IT, the Prometi 2 I am using in this case, thread it into the top cap, and here you go. For example, now I there is a slight gap here. What all you have to do is unscrew the top cap a bit, screw it down. This is as flash as it gets. I have not touched the switch. Now third in. Flush. The same way, if somebody doesn't want to use the cage, he may not use the Alcon again inside the cage but just mount it over the 22 mm 510 cap and here how it looks. 
Yes, there will be a slight ledge here because Erlkorn again it's a 21 mm IT and the top cap is 22 mm. Mind you this part of the top uh, of the body is 21 which widens down to 23 mm in the bottom. Now let me show you how the package comes. I will open a package which has the mod in its nano version and I will show you. Like I said the mod comes in three versions. This is version 1, the main one which is called the Earl Throne Deluxe which comes with the full sized cage. This is the Earl Throne Deluxe. This is for hybridizing a full sized Earl Konigan. There is a Earl Throne Nano which has the small sized cage for hybridizing your Earl Konigan Nano. And then the third variant, the third variety of Earl Throne is the one which comes without the cage. There is no cage in that model. It is just a 510 top cap. This is called the Earl Throne 22. This can be purchased for using any atomizer on top. Alright then, let me go and show you how the package comes in. The Earl Throne come in a nifty cardboard package as the Earl Conagin comes in. Open the package. You have your certificate of authenticity which has your serial number underneath that certificate is a quick start guide which is pretty well written with nice colorful pictures and pretty much tells you everything how to get started with it and here is the mod inside. The switch, battery tube and the cage. This is all you get in a package. In this case I am showing you the box of the Ultra Nano. Similarly comes the box for Ultra Deluxe which is for the full sized Alconagin. This will be same. This part would look different because the deluxe one has grooves cut into the bottom. The general use one is a plain straight tube. Of course you need to pay extra for this. This has been designed specifically because there would be people who would not like to have this and would rather have a plain tube. But there are folks like me who likes as much engravings, as much etchings, as much designs possible, as much decals possible in a mod. But that's me. The tube. the cage the switch same quality of tube this is 
21 mm here and widens down to 23 mm this side at the bottom end. But it's a plain tube. The best part of this mod is besides the unique switch this is absolutely lightweight. By the looks of it it feels as if it's made of aluminum. But it is 316L stainless steel. Every part which is steel is 316L SS. The contacts are 24 karat gold over copper. The rubberized washers, insulators, whatever are palm. Now let me show you the switch mechanism, how that actually works. It's pretty easy, simple. You may need to take a little get used to it. But you get used to it pretty soon. Now this switch has a locked and unlocked position. As of now this is unlocked. You move the switch this way. Clockwise it locks. Locked. You move it counterclockwise. It's opened. Then all you have to do is, while holding your mod, you may just use your thumb over the tube body and with one of your fingers or two fingers, just press the switch one side and it fires. You can press it any side, it will fire, any side. Now the movement of that pressing and firing is so minute that it cannot be caught on camera. You use an atomizer, press it, it fires and you know. Let me attach an atomizer and show it to you. Now here I have attached an Alconigan Nano. Here is the way it needs to be pressed and you can hear it, possibly you can get it. Firing, not firing, firing, not firing. Let me take a whip. So there you go folks. The Earl Throne lightweight mod takes an 18 series battery. Now this ones the ones I have shown you are for 18650 from the website of Earl Conigan you can get separately purchasable 18350 tube and 18500 tube but even with 18650 it is pretty small for one there is no top cap the top cap is within the cage and the Earl Conigan is attached directly to the battery via a embedded top cap which is pretty thin. Unique switch. The finishing of the mod is glass bead blasted. That's what they call it. It looks pretty much like a wizard's apprentice evolved steel and media blasted. So now let me take it up and show you guys how it vapes like and what are my thoughts on it. Now here is a 1 ohm atti. I'll come again in this.
the switch just fantastic it is not soft touch but doesn't need much of an effort there are various ways you can fire the switch you can use it like this and fire with two fingers or one finger whatever it can be fired in any of its directions mind you there is no bottom press firing it is a bottom switch but there is no pressing from the bottom needed it is a side firer of a bottom firing switch unique right so you press it not much effort now the things i like and the things i don't like let me start with the don't likes for one the price point the price is high but that's you pay the price for knowing that this is a mod which is fully 316 stainless steel with gold plated copper contacts and it's not made in china this is absolutely designed and made manufactured in austria it's a in house work by ideas to reality i2r the makers of alconigan the next part is the only problem that i see is the 510 top cap is not included in the package which as per me is mm, they should have added that because if we have a 510 top cap along with this you may not use alconigan and may use any other atomizer that's a point which i think the uh, models have overlooked to see rest the things i like unique i like the look absolutely stunning a different kind of look i like the switch mechanism it's a joy to use i like the fact that this is a different kind of switch i like the fact that you don't need to press it from the bottom you press it sideways no other mod in the world as of now has this kind of switch i like the fact that this is lightweight i like the media blasting part of it it looks gorgeous as per me i like the overall look and the design as per me folks this is a winner this is a cool mod i just love it thank you folks thank you for watching